Hey, welcome to my Pixel Evolution review. Now, you're seeing this screen um, kind of at the same time as me. Um, so I've not logged into Pixel Evolution as yet. I'm about to do it now and I'm about to walk you through this software. Might be a little bit bumpy because as I say, this is the first time that I've actually looked at it, but I have seen some of the demos. Actually, let me start off by showing you some of these quick demos. So first off, let me show you this one. This is a foldable banner. Okay, uh, I'll explain more about this um, this software, what you can do with it and what it's for in just a moment. But uh, look at the power of this. Okay, so you've just got this tiny little aspect showing now. If you click here, you can see it folds down like so. Okay, so it folds down into the complete image, but you can fold down as much as you like. Let me show you another one because, you know, this is uh, this is pretty exciting stuff. Okay, this is a film strip banner. So let's uh, let's click here, see how it works. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, so that's that one. Let's have a look. Okay, this one is a carousel banner. So if I click there, uh, wrong button. Hold on a minute. Okay, so that was just the uh, the CTA there. So if I click here. You can see it flips around, which is very, very cool. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, um, a billboard banner. So if I click here, it will open up like so. An expandable banner. It's, uh... So if I just uh, reload this a minute, let's have a look. So if you just hover over it, you can see that that banner expands. Okay, this one's pretty cool. So it's a rollover banner. So as your um, cursor goes over the top of the banner, you can see it rolls up to another image or rolls down, whatever you want to do. Okay, this one's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, this is a, a scratch card banner. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, Oh, I see. So <laughs> it's just like a scratch card. So excellent. And here's another example. This one is a foldable banner with multiple links. So I guess if I click on more and more and more, and if I click there, you can see it click through to the call to action. Okay, let's take a look at the actual software. So as soon as you uh, log in, and again, this is the first time I've logged in, uh, you can see that there are stats. And uh, this is graphically pleasing by itself, you know. Um, so that looks, uh, well, that's pretty cool, but uh, I'm sure you're not interested in, um, in just the animation of the, uh, the stats. So let me kind of take you through it. So graphic creator, um, let's have a look. So here we can create uh, flat graphics and dimensioned graphics. Let me just uh, pull the screen over so you can see. So Straight away, you can see all of the banners that are preloaded in here. Now, I would imagine that you could edit any of these. Uh, let's just open that one up. So you can see a completely animated banner. And if I wanted to use that particular banner, then I'll click there and I could edit any aspect of that. I can put my link in there, alter play, loop slides, and so forth. Now, again, this is the first time I've been in here, so I would have to go through this and check this all out. But uh, let's see um, if I wanted to add new slides, I'll click there, like so. I can upload an image. So this would need to be a PNG image, I would imagine. So you can just drop that on there. So if I click there, I could drop the image on here or I could click browse. I'm not going to do that now. 
uh, gallery. So graphics or stock photos. So the software comes with graphics on board anyway. So let's have a look at this at the cart graphics. So you can see there's a bunch of graphics there. Um, app icons, just wait for that to load. Just bear with me. Uh, abstract. But you can see there's a, there's a ton of um, images already built into the software. And of course you can upload your own. So let's go back. And you can also, uh, let me just drag this over. So you can also increase the size or change the size to anything you want. Um, as I said before, but the screen wasn't pulled over. You can set it to auto play, loop slides. Uh, you can alter or edit the background settings. You can put your link URL in there. So this is a link that you want anybody to go to when they click your uh, CTA. Parent window, not actually certain what that is at the moment. Let me just check. Okay, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Um, but you can see uh, this is kind of cutting edge when it comes to graphics, banners, that kind of thing. So graphic creator, let me just, sorry, I just pull this over again so you can see uh, all graphics. Well, obviously I haven't set uh, any graphics up at the moment, um, so I can't show you that. Downloads, I would be able to download the graphics, uh, overlay links, I guess it would help if I actually went to uh, <laughs> the training uh, to begin with, but uh, you, you can see um, the quality of this software. And um, what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna leave this in a moment um, because I'm not doing it any justice by showing you just the basics. It would be good to actually show you um, exactly how this works. So you can see, um, well, this is the training here. So animation basics, uh, custom banners, professional text, animation delay, PNG uh, against JPG, JPEGs, backgrounds for your banners. So all of this is built into the software. So you're not gonna be stuck for tutorials. Uh, slides for your banners, utilizing the ad video, using the image editor, using the gallery, and using the menu. So everything is explained in detail. You also have the videos on, it says the basics here. So dashboard basics and what you will see when you first log in, banner dimensions, canvas properties, and background settings, and so forth. So you can see there is a ton of tutorials built in to this software. Um, I mean, if we go back to, uh, just bear with me a second. Yeah, if we go back to um, the uh, number of demos that Paul's already put in place, um, so as I could kind of demonstrate this, I, I'm willing to bet that you've never seen anything like this before. I certainly haven't. I've been in this business a long time and I've never seen anything quite like this. So you can see here, you know, you can just see a, a tiny proportion, if you like, or a little window of this image. And just by clicking there, you can open up the whole in image. And all of this, is essentially a clickable link. So using this is going to put you head above anybody else that's um, got banners out there. Um, you know, you use these banners anywhere and they're gonna get a ton of attention. So, I mean, the whole thing's clickable. I can fold it back up by clicking there. So, I guess um, basically it's a space saver, but it's cutting edge and it's really going to get attention. So if I click there again and I click anywhere in this image, it's going to take me over to Paul's uh, CTA. So if I click there, you can see it loads up. So let's call this video my um, my introduction to pixel evolution. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it in more detail and um, and put another review video up. But this will serve to introduce you to what is essentially a fantastic piece of software. It's SaaS, so it's software as a service, so you don't have to download anything. What you'll do is you get uh, login credentials when you purchase it. You'll log in and you can use it online. So there's nothing to mess about um, 
you know, loading up onto your computer, downloading, installing, any of that. It's not clunky, it's, uh, it's state of the art. You're not gonna find anything else of this quality. I've never seen anything else that does what this software does. So, you know, it's a graphic editor, it's a banner editor, you can have HTML5 banners, you can have moving images, you can have, you know, flip down images, banners, like I've just shown you in the demos, and uh, it's very, very cool stuff. Um, state of the art, I would say. So I'm going to leave this um, video as it is. So look at this as a kind of an introduction to pixel evolution and then look out for my second video where I'll go a little bit more in depth and explain what you can do with this software and, um, and how it can help your business. Okay, so thanks for watching.